Hello, hello. My name is Callista, and welcome back to Danganronpa Trigger Happy Havoc. In the last episode, Monokuma revealed to the students that Sakura was the mole, and she's not even bothering to try and deny it. I am expecting some serious fallout to go down here, and I'm really excited for it. The game has finally started to feel a lot more like it did in chapters one through three, so I'm, I'm very excited for this. Anyway, that's all I wanted to say. What you guys choose to do with that information is up to you. Drills, chills, kills! Roaster, boiler, killer, don't killer, whatever! I can't wait, I can't wait! Woo hoo hoo! Either way, I can't wait! And just like that, he was gone. Finally, I understood what he had been talking about. An eye for an eye, a fang for a fang. In other words, betrayal would be met with betrayal. Huh? Um... What the heck? So, what does this mean? What? what? It, is it true? Has Ogre really been spying on us for the mastermind? What are you saying? What are you saying? There's no way! <clears throat> but that is what the stuffed animal said, right? Wrong. You're wrong! Well, he's wrong. There's just... There's just no way! Hey. Well, Sakura, if he's wrong, all you have to do is tell us. I'm sorry. Girl! Girl, I still love you. I still love you. You're still my favorite person here. I'm sorry I didn't tell you earlier. Huh? What? Serious for serious? Ogre's been working for the mastermind? I'm sorry. You know what? Fuck it. I'll accept that. <laughs> so you've been lying to us all this time? Huh? It, it's not true. Sakura was probably being controlled. There's gotta be some some reason she didn't have a choice she was just forced to do it yeah i'm sure hina's right the mastermind probably threatened her somehow and sakura had no choice but to do what she was told <laughs> what you're you're talking like you know that for a fact because i do know it for a fact makoto Makoto, where was this ten minutes ago? Makoto! You... Makoto, buddy. Buddy, you... I know I've been saying this a lot. He should have just said something. It was better coming from him than from the fucking bear. Because I saw it. I saw Sakura and Monokuma fighting. And that's where I heard it. Monokuma mentioned a hostage a second ago, right? And during their fight, I heard Sakura say she decided to fight against the mastermind. I see. You saw that? Also, before I forget, I'ma just grab this. Just in case. The mastermind took a hostage, so you were forced to swear loyalty to them, right? But, in the end, you made up your mind to betray the mastermind. What? Which means Sakura isn't our enemy. She's a friend who we can trust without question. Is that it? Hmm. Ridiculous. Do you live in some sort of alternate reality fairy tale? Not possible. She was the mastermind's tool. 
You absolutely cannot trust someone like that. You might not be able to, but you are a bitch. I would trust Sakura with my life. Impossible. I can feel my eye twitching. Hero. Hero. Think very carefully about what you say next, bud. He, he's right. We can't just believe whatever she says now. <laughs> How can we even be sure she really did betray the mastermind? Maybe this is a double bluff and she's still doing exactly what the mastermind wants. What are you saying? Sakura would never do that. <laughs> okay then, Sakura. If you really have cut ties with the mastermind, tell us who they really are. I... I doubt Sakura would know that. We saw Sakura communicating with Monokuma. We never saw her communicating with anyone else, and I don't... It would be incredibly stupid of the mastermind to reveal themselves to one of the students, because something like this could happen. They could decide, you know what, fuck you, I'ma betray you, and I'ma continue working with my friends, so that... I get where you're coming from, Byakia, but it would be stupid. That, that's a stupid idea, sir. I'm... You're stupid. I don't like you. <clears throat> well... I'm sorry. Sorry, I can't. Even I don't know that. What? You don't know? That just makes you all the more suspicious. Please! She's telling the truth! You have to believe her! Don't make me repeat myself. Shut up! I'm not finished questioning her. Come on! Next question. What's this about a promise? What did the Mastermind order you to do? Mm. I was told... <clears throat> to kill one of my friends. And that's when you stopped! Oh! you. I, here's the thing. I'm heavily biased towards Sakura. I I do get why Hero would be like, you know, we can't trust her. Because, like, she, she did betray the group. Like, when, when I say, like, oh, Hero, you know, be careful what you're saying. Hero's anger is justified. Sakura betrayed the group. How can we now trust anything she says? However, I'm heavily biased towards her, so I'm just gonna buy whatever she sells me. So, I'm... I'm kind of faux-mad with Hero, if you get it. The Sakura stan in me is like, how dare you? But then the logical part of me is like, he's got a point. They've all got points. Like, they, they have the right to be angry here. To kill one of my friends. It suddenly felt like the temperature in the room had dropped 20 degrees. The weight of those words. I see. I see. So even now you've taken aim on our lives. No! No, that's when she said no! I'm not gonna do that! Wrong! You're wrong! You're wrong! I'm telling you, Sakura would never do that! <laughs> what the heck? You don't have to yell! We can hear you just fine! Don't you have an I inside voice? That's terrible! It's because you're not listening to me! Just like you weren't listening to Makoto in the last episode, but I'm over it because the game is... The game is feeling a lot better now. Wait. Oh, girl! Girl, no! Please. Stop. You don't need to defend me anymore. <sighs> I have to take full responsibility for this. However... How do you intend to do that? <sighs> yes, girl! Yes, I salute you! I salute you, Sakura! By destroying the Mastermind. What? I... I'm going to challenge them. Even if it means we both go down, I will defeat them. I'm sorry. That is how I intend to take responsibility. Huh? Hold on! What do you mean if you both go 
down. Hina. Hina, I'm sorry I didn't tell you about this. Huh? What? I'm sorry. I didn't know what to do. I went back and forth about confiding in you again and again. Well. But I was scared. I thought if I told you, you might think less of me. But... but Sakura! I'm sorry. My go! Sakura turned away from us and left the gym. And then... Announcement. It is now 10 p.m. As such, it is officially night time. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked, and entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Okay then, sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. <laughs> well, it's night time. We should all go to bed. No way! Hold on! This whole thing with Sakura is... Don't make me repeat myself. Over. She's our enemy. There's nothing more to discuss. Byakuya! Our enemy! Are you saying you're a part of the group? Are you saying that? No, she's your enemy. She's not my enemy. Up yours. That's terrible! No! Sakura is not our enemy! Uh, why? I'll, I'll accept that. Why doesn't anyone understand her? What? What is it you think you understand? You didn't even know who she really was. What is this? Th that! Calm down. Let it go for now, Hina. Talking about it isn't going to help anything. Why? Oh. <sighs> As I said, I I really don't like Kina as much as I did. Um, I feel badly for her. I like the fact that she's sticking up for Sakura, but I, I find it rather hypocritical where she's like, no one's listening to me. And it's like, you didn't listen to Makoto. Why should we listen to you? You're not willing to listen. So I'm, I feel badly for her, but with everyone kind of having a go, I I really don't feel... I feel badly that she's found out her friend is the spy. I don't feel badly that everyone is having a go at Hina. That's, that's kind of where I'm at. But, but... Anyway... Go to your room, cool down, and we can continue this discussion tomorrow. Ugh. It was the worst. The mood at the end of the night was just the worst. Being in such an awful mood. We were honestly glad the day was over. Sakura is the spy. She's the traitor. Byakuya said Sakura is the enemy. Byakuya doesn't know shit. But he's wrong! There you go, Makoto, yes! She's not my enemy! She's my friend, without a doubt! But what can I do? What can I do to make everyone believe in Sakura? I don't... I don't think there's anything you can do, Makoto. You just need to give them time to cool off. She needs to earn their trust. They have every right to feel upset. Sakura did something wrong. She needs to make up for that. You can't just... There is no easy fix to this, but you can't just make everything right again. How? As long as you're human, there will always come a point where you wish you could do things differently. Even a baseball player in the major leagues. 
Even a soccer player touring Europe. Even a famous singer who started her career as a backup dancer on a sketch comedy show. She makes a brilliant debut, but instead of going for war, she marries some third-rate actor and retires. Every human has regrets, has things they'd like to go back and change. But I don't, cause I'm a bear! Oh, Monokuma. Good morning, everyone! It is now 7 a.m., and nighttime is officially over! Time to rise and shine! Get ready to greet another beautiful day! I'm worried about Sakura. I need to hurry up and get to the dining hall. Okay. Yep, let's go, go, go. Oh, God, I... You! My nemesis! I know, I... I, I don't know. I don't... Uh, fuck you. I don't care, I'm sorry I don't. Uh, um... Oh, I want to go back and see what she had to say. Ah! Oh, I regret, I... Un t to be honest, until she apologizes, I'm, I'm, no, I'm not, I don't fuck about with Kyoko. Mm -mm, not until I get an apology. Oh, Makoto, are you okay? Why wouldn't I be? Huh? What do you mean? <laughs> guys, guys, Sakura isn't going to kill me. She's not, she's not that type of person. I... I love her so much. You were late, so we were worried about you. <laughs> what a dullard. I, I don't know if that's directed at Toko or me, but I'd, I do appreciate how sassy Byakia can be sometimes. He's still a bitch, but he a sassy bitch. Toko? Byakia? What are you doing here? Also, yeah, shit! It, that didn't even enter into my brain. Why are you here? What the heck? They're taking refuge here. Refuge? Such ignorance. Don't make that stupid face. We have to protect ourselves against the Mastermind's tool. Uh, there's only one tool in here, mate. Only one, and it's you. The Mastermind's... Are you talking about Sakura? Mm. Kyoko's like, what do you think, dummy? That's when I finally noticed the only one that wasn't in the dining hall was Sakura. Huh? Where is Sakura? Stop talking. All I know is, if she were here, I wouldn't be. Because like Kyoko, I am a child. <laughs> The only reason I went out of my way to join the rest of you was as a safeguard against that threat. Threat? What is this? Why? Why do you hate her so much? Because she betrayed the group. I, I can't... I can't be angry at their anger. They are justified in that. Like, it's understandable she betrayed the group. Therefore, you know, until she can prove that she is trustworthy, you know, she should be treated suspiciously. Like, it... As much as I love Sakura, I do understand where they're coming from. Naturally. Isn't it obvious? Because this makes things unfair. Bianca, I'm pretty sure you've said that life isn't fair, so why are you complaining about that? Unfair? The game should be fair to all players. The existence of a spy for the Mastermind upsets that balance. Bitch, what are you going on about? You were telling fucking Makoto that he's proof that not all men are created equal. Why, sh why should the game be equal now? 
the heck? That's a stupid reason. What, what did you say? <laughs> Even he's like, wait, what? <laughs> you called me what? I've never been addressed in such a manner. I might faint. Stupid. This is a life or death game, is it not? That's terrible. It is stupid. You're a stupid idiot. Hey. Before you get too far into your argument, maybe you should stop and think things through. Why did the mastermind reveal that Sakura was a spy to us? Because she had betrayed him. Can we say it a little louder for the people in the back? What the heck? They were getting revenge on her, right? Like Monokuma said, an eye for an eye. However... That may be part of it, but it's not the whole picture. Revealing that fact was also meant to serve as the next motive the Mastermind wanted to give us. I... I know I said this before. I'm now convinced Sakura has to be the next victim. I don't know if I mentioned this, my boyfriend pointed out the pattern to the victims. I don't, I don't think he intended that as like a spoiler, but he, he commented on the fact that, you know, before Sayaka died, um, the, the game really focused on her, although you, that really wasn't so noticeable at the time because it was the first case, but then with Mondo and Chihiro, Chihiro spoke a lot in chapter two, in, um, uh, chapter three, Hifumi and Taka were constantly going at it. They were like the main focus. It's whoever is the main focus of the chapter has been the next victim. And Sakura is the main, the main focus. So I'm, I'm like 99.9% .9 sure that she's the next victim. I'm convinced of it. And I t oh, I, um, I'm, Part of me is like, whoever takes her out, I'm gonna be kind of impressed, because Sakura is a tough bitch. I'm like, she's scary as hell, she's the ultimate fighter, like... Whoever manages to kill her, I'm like, I think I might give them like a small round of applause, and then I will be threatening to kick them in the crotch, but you know, it... That's beside the point. Revealing that fact was also meant to serve as the next motive the Mastermind wanted to give us. The chaos and confusion born from suspicion. The hatred. In other words. In other words, this right here. The fighting, the bickering, is the trap the mastermind laid for us. Knowing that, will you still stand there and argue like children? Kyoko, pot calling the kettle black here. But... Th that's not what I'm trying to do, it's just... How can I get you guys to believe in Sakura again? <sighs> if she really can beat the mastermind like she said, that'd go a long way in my mind. Thank you, hero. Thinking logically. What are you saying? Idiot! You really ask her to do something so dangerous? What if something terrible happens to her? Owie, owie, I... I get where you're coming from, you want to protect your friend, but if that's what Sakura wants to do to make it up to everyone, I I say let her. Yes, she'd probably die, and I love Sakura, but it As I said, I'm kind of on the fence here. I love Sakura, but I get where the group is coming from. <laughs> Interesting. Bitch! How dare you, Byakia! I'm not, it feels so good to be pissed at Byakuya again. It, it feels heavenly. It wouldn't matter. Huh? What? <laughs> if Sakura were to die, that's one less person for the mastermind to control. I have no problem with that. Get him! Get him, Hina! Beat the shit out of him! But hold on, Byakuya! <laughs> In fact... If she did die, that would settle this entire issue, wouldn't it? Someone kick him in the dick. Do it. <laughs> it would put the whole problem to rest. <gasps> yes. Yes. Oh my god. It happened. 
It happened! What the hell? Yes, bitch! Get him! Get him! And you're in the back looking like, oh, but f fuck you, Toko! Oh! Oh, I know it said slap, but she's she's curled her hand into a fist. I'm gonna assume that was a punch, because that would make me feel better. Yes! Yes, Owie, I still don't like you, but yes, girl. Yes! He said the, he said the line himself. You disgust me! Get him! You're... you're a monster! To say something like that, it should have been you. Who? You should have been the one to die! And I don't know when you're talking about, girl, but like, yes, for any of them! What? Yes, Hina, you got major plus points, but still after how you acted earlier. I should have died. <laughs> Interesting. Interesting. Then are you planning to take care of that yourself? Go ahead. Try it if you dare. That's how it works here, after all. What is this? You think I can't do it? Hina, calm down! That's right. This is exactly what the Mastermind wants, and it's exactly what Sakura doesn't want. Uh... <laughs> What's wrong? Lost your nerve. Punch him again! Do it! <laughs> I'm leaving! I'll be in my room! Trembling with anger, Hina ran off. <laughs> Part of me's like, I should be offended, but the fact that she called her a cow appeases my Englishness. I'm like, oh shit, that's, that's an insult we use very commonly over here. Okay. Th that stupid cow. How dare she? She should die a thousand deaths. No, a million. So she was just another hysterical little girl. Hardly worth my attention. Makoto, you slap him! The other cheek! Make him look like he's blushing! Just a second. It's what other people call having feelings, Byakuya. And all you can do is mock them for it. Again, Kyoko. Pot calling the kettle black. Hmm. What's wrong with that? Hey. A friendly word of warning? Someday that attitude is going to come back and bite you. Hard. Again. For the third time in a row. Pot calling the kettle black, Kyoko. Your attitude will come back and bite you. Hard. I don't have time to play with you. He hasn't said that before, has he? Yeah. And I will happily elude its attempts. You couldn't... You couldn't elude Hina's fist, though, could you, bitch? <sighs> S so, um, you know... Uh, um... How about we, uh, eat? Um, uh, maybe now's not a good time. You know? <laughs> Without a word... Each of us left the dining hall. We headed back to our rooms, one by one. Phew! Ah. Oh. So, uh, what should I do to take- I see Makoto is stunned after witnessing, uh, Byakia being punched. He's completely stunned. And uh, let's... I mean, I've started with Byakia. We might as well continue. And also, this way, we get to gloat. We get to gloat about him being punched. Now, where are you... Where are you hanging out, man? I... Why do I get the feeling... Yeah, you're in the office. Wait a minute, what am I saying? I can fast travel! Let's see, where you at? There we go. Okie doke. Well, then, Byakia! 
How's your cheek feeling? Is it still bright red? And you know what? I only have a minute left on this recording, so I am going to end the episode off right here. In the next time, we gloat about Byakia's cheeks. But until then, please remember to like if you enjoyed, leave a comment below. And if you wanted to subscribe, it would be very much appreciated. I've been Callista. Thanks for watching and see you in the next episode.